everybody. My name is Christine Ruderfahrt and I want to welcome you to our first webinar at BMA. Due to the pandemic crisis, a lot of fairs and conferences where we wanted to meet you were postponed to the next year. So we decided to get in, fact, in contact with you and our experts online. But before we will start, let me give you some organizational advices. As you may have noticed, every one of you is muted. So please don't change it that Andreas can hold his presentation without disturbance. If you have any questions, just type them in the chat on the right. We will answer them right after the presentation. This webinar will be recorded and afterwards we will send you the link and the presentation via mail. So then let's start with the webinar. Andreas, it's your turn. Thank you, Christine, for the start of this webinar. Good day to all of you on the desks and screens. Welcome to my presentation. My name is Andreas Lehnberger and I'm working for BMA in Germany. My professional background is process engineering and Schoko technology for more than 25 years. The topic of today's presentation is IIoT for batch centrifuges with the initial results of this project. This presentation was prepared for the 42nd AWSCT conference, which has been postponed, unfortunately. Let's start with an overview to this presentation. After the introduction, I will show you the application of cloud technology for batch centrifuges along with the feedback from the first users. The then following part outlines developments and applications based on a model of information layers. Finally, I will summarize the presentation and I will state a conclusion. Questions are welcome after the presentation. For introduction, I will start with some notes and explanations. First at all, we know we find ourselves already in the fourth industrial revolution. An international known expression for that was founded by the German Chamber of Commerce. This is Industry 4.0. There are some other buzzwords along with we will use in this context. This is uh, the digital transformation, digitization, artificial intelligence. So there are much other buzzwords used, but we do not know really the objectification of this. This is mostly diffuse. Have a look to our personal use of mobile devices. This is one form of the fourth revolution. We recognize and use this as different with the different uh, features and we do not think about what technology is behind that. And this is what is our experience? Yes, we and many users in the world, we take that technology for granted. In manufacturing, this technology is uh, develops much slower and more different. And yes, uh, this is of course a topic we have to care about in the sugar industry. The backbone of this technology is the yeah, digital cloud. It has an enormous capacity for storage and computing power. So they, this is located in data centers. By internet connection, we are able to access that where we are anytime and from anywhere. I, uh, internet of Things, IoT, that is the word we think about that and what we are using. And this includes the devices for that. There is an additional term which is more often used in the manufacturing. Uh, that is the industrial Internet of Things, IIoT. Unlike to the IoT, IIoT does not focus on consumers and end users, but on industrial application. It includes the digital representation 
of the processes, the products, and the manufacturing infrastructure. Well, let's go to such a realization project in the sugar industry, which BMA has started in 2018. With the development of the Smart for Sugar platform, we would like to make the cloud technology available for the sugar production. Starting from the current automation level, which we see across the sugar factories, we would like to add new features and digital services. It is clear that an added benefit drives this project. Our first implementation is the application of IIoT to batch centrifugals. We are doing it uh, is what we are doing is upgrading the centrifugal control with um, data processing in the cloud. The first application for that is called smart monitoring. This application monitors the collected process data. Because this application runs in the cloud, the access is possible from anywhere, wireless and at any time. This next slide shows the more de details of the operating practice of the smart monitoring. Since many decades, the batch centrifugal comes with a local control system, the PLC. This PLC processes the data from the centrifugal, this means the sensors, the internal status information, as well as external measurements. What we have done is we added an IoT gateway, which collects the process data from the PLC and sends them to the Microsoft Azure Cloud. The data are stored there, they are analyzed, and they are prepared for dashboards. Employees from a company have access to that cloud and can see the dashboards on their devices, either on their mobile devices like smartphones or tablets or by PC or laptop. You need to authenticate them. They need to authenticate themselves after the company's authorization. So a company administrator has to authorize the users to go to the cloud. The dashboard shows only data which are dedicated exclusively to this entity. What do the users see on the dashboard? The slide, this slide shows on the left side the smartphone with the smart monitoring dashboard. The upper part, a list shows the centrifugals along with their capacities, the, post current, uh, uh, the current processing capacity in charges per hour. On the lower part, the screen uh, shows some key performance indicators. So you shall have an overview within the seconds what happened or what is its status. The slides, uh, the tiles here, they are uh, the number of centrifugals connected actually. And uh, if there are some warnings or alarms coming up, you can also see that. And more, more important, I guess, for a production manager is the total processing capacity currently working your station. For a detailed view, uh, this is not uh, uh, this is not enough. We have such drill downs, so-called drill downs, which are better shown on tablets. That's the right side. There is a large diagram showing the two hours process data and several tiles, smaller tiles for an overview of the other measurements. At certain occasion, uh, a zoom in to a shorter duration should be uh, give you the insight uh, to the details. And the tablet on the front now shows, for example, 
the speed of the motor and basket for three cycles. This is a basic view of the smart monitoring application. We ask our clients on the feedback of the status. Summarizing the current development of the BMA centrifuges with cloud connectivity, we started in 2018 in Australia. This is the first installation of that technology from BMA there. Now the technology is introduced in several sugar companies and they are located around the world. The development stage shows currently only the smart monitoring and this is displaying only the operating data. We received the feedback from users, mainly senior managers and shift managers. They told us that displaying the information is alone not sufficient to generate additional benefit to, but it has high potential with additional features. Reason for such a judgment was that the central control system they use in the factories shall provide the displayed information too. Additionally, some of the employees, they have already the remote access to the control system. And we asked them, what shall we be, what shall be improved to get their attraction for that? And the answer that we got are words like predictive maintenance, machine learning, and support by specialists. So our statement now is that we have to take into account the additional and more diverse customers needs to have an attractive uh, application for the sugar factories. There are so many features and services connected to the digital services, so it is not easy to understand to whom is the benefit dedicated. One approach is the use of information layers, which assigns the different features to different target groups. There are three layers. And I start in this presentation with a machine layer. The machine layer gives us information on mechanics, electrics, and includes, for example, the service manual. On the right side, some buzzwords are shown which fit to the layer. And yeah, I will explain the details on the following slides. The next layer is a process layer. And for this uh, layer, we are looking to the separation process of the centrifugal. This includes the consumption figures. And on the third layer, we are looking to the product. The product is a, is a sugar and the input is a mescute. So let us go further to the details on the separate in, in, on separate slides it's on the information layers. The first and basic layer is the machine layer information we put together in that step. This is relevant for operators, service staff, and service managers. So. If they have a question, they may use the online help or they put their, they post a chat in their language and can so be connected with BMA. Uh, the service manual, if this is available online, again, uh, uh, along with additional information, this might save time for searching for the documentation. And one point is very important there. This is the predictive maintenance. That is the topic what we are, uh, what usually used in that layer. If you look to the uh, to the industri industry, then we see that machine man manufacturers have already offered this type of information in a range of application today. There might be some additional mechanics or electronics sensors necessary to get um, greater and deep information 
than usually we get from the maintenance staff. But if you look around, this topic is usually meant if we hear the word industry 4.0, and this is booming. In the, the, the application in the sugar industry is not very common, so I like to give you an example from an, uh, other industries. The, the drives of wind turbines are located in the top of the tall shaft in, near to the blades. They are monitored by so-called condition monitoring systems. In Europe, there are more than 2,500 wind turbines, which are, uh, yeah, which have such a condition monitoring systems. A survey prepared by the Fraunhofer Institute asks the wind turbine operators to the benefit of this condition monitoring. And they answered in the first preference that minimizing the risk of server damage that uh, is an highest uh, benefit. This damages usually cause high repair costs. The second common answer was a cost effective maintenance, which they achieved. The next layer is the process information layer. We assign to that layer all the information a process engineer needs. For the centrifugal, we look at the separation process and consumption figures are also included. The process engineers request for their optimization duties, the KPIs, key performance indicators. And yes, they show us the different uh, status of the centrifugals compared to the target they would like to achieve. A history view is uh, important to have and look back what happened. And if you are responsible for several centrifugals, you need to know which one is working the best and which ones have to be optimized. So the, the benchmark supports your strategy. Well, for the process of separation of sugar crystals from the muscle liquor, we need some expert knowledge. This is usually in the process engineer's head, but will also be, can also be implemented in the cloud application. Using the computer power of the cloud technology, the ways of optimization can be identified quickly and efficiently. For specific tasks, additional uh, sensors may be installed. The third layer is the product information layer, which is relevant for the production management. We talk about information to the feed material, this is the mesty quality, and the sugar quality as a final product. Any relationship between input and output might be too complex to, for a simple equation. Machine learning is a tool to describe the dependency, taking into account different preconditions. As a future vision, parameter settings, for an optimized sugar production are wanted. Again, an example from other industries, in this case, the steel production. The control system of the rolling mills uses machine learning for the optimization of the rolling process. The technology of neuronal networks has already been used since decades, but located on the local uh, control systems. By moving this technology to the cloud, it is possible to apply this also on small systems. And this is, was not possible because of the high expensive investment to set uh, systems 
uh, if it's uh, installed locally. I state that our batch centrifugal control systems are also small control systems and will have a benefit from machine learning in the cloud. You may have missing the topic of uh, artificial intelligence in the presentation up to here. I would state that artificial intelligence will in future assist you and the users in the work by providing automated or auto, semi-automated recommendations or actions. For our case, this will be based on an automated uh, analysis of the centrifugal data. Artificial intelligence may act in future as an alternative to finding of quality st qualified staff for sugar production. Currently, artificial intelligence is still in the early stage of development. Besides the technical feasibility, also the economic benefits must be proven. Additionally, it needs acceptance of the users. So the artificial intelligence will give automated recommendation or even takes over the control of their processes. As a vision the, for the future, there would be automatic adjustment of process and process parameters and optimization of the sugar production. Taking an example again from the wind turbines. The wind turbine operators have already installed control systems which rely on artificial intelligence. Such a system optimizes the power generation of an individual wind turbine with respect to the mechanical condition. I would like to summarize the presentation and state a conclusion. I guess that IIoT is now an attractive op option to sugar producers. Data centers provides unlimited or storage capacities and computer power. The user experience with the devices for youth personal use paves the way for industry 4.0. And now the smart monitoring um, app application on the Smart for Sugar platform has already started for the batch centrifugals. Classifying the digital services to different information layers helps us to understand the expected benefit to the factory personnel. I explained in detail the information layers of the machine and electrical systems, the machine, the process level and the product level. The, they are all targeting different user groups in the sugar factory. And finally, the artificial intelligence in process manufacturing is still in its infancy. It is expected that an expanded range of features will be offered in the future. This only works if the application shows considerable benefits for the sugar processing. I would like to acknowledge the input and output of the work to the different people who have helped uh, us on that project. First of all, I would like to acknowledge the, and thank the staff of Wilma Sugar Australia. Um, we were able to install the first installation there and they are able, were able to use the first application there. Then the software development team with us, this has made a great work for programming of the dashboard. And at least the feedback from our colleagues and from the users, that was very important to upgrade and to optimize the, uh, the app, the smart monitoring app. Thank you very much for your attention. Questions are now welcome. Thank you, Andreas, uh, for this insightful presentation. Um, there are some questions um, that came through the Q&A, so let's start mm -hmm. with the first one. 
And the first one is, where is this data cloud physically co-located? The cloud is the Microsoft Azure cloud. And this is a worldwide network of data centers. So we currently cannot say that is in a certain uh, country, but the Microsoft um, rules are that the data are located near to the uh, point of their occurrence, also where they are imported. So it's usually in the uh, continent uh, stored where it was generated. Uh, what, what does the dashboard show? The dashboard shows um, some information which gives you a very, very quick overview on your status of the centrifugals. So there are the list of centrifugals and there are key performance indicators. So you have the possibility to see with one view what happens there. Especially, I think, important for the process manager is the throughput the centrifugal currently uh, process. Okay, the next one. Uh, when is smart monitoring available? Smart monitoring is already now available and uh, we have two versions on that. That's the basic version. The basic version is that what I presented here in this presentation and there's a pro version where we have started with analyzing the uh, centrifugal data, which I has announced as a future uh, uh, application. Okay. Next one, uh, it's a longer one, um, uh, a kind of comment in our Q&A. Um, hello, Dr. Andrea, thank you for the presentation. The solution of IoT really helps the maintenance of electrical and automation point of view. In process point of view, how this solution can help us for process optimization and parameter settings as collecting less acute quality data. Is this solution including, for example, introducing of data results from laboratory to the cloud application and based on data analysis, the customer gets the optimal um, parameter for the centrifugal? So it was, was, was a little bit longer, sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. I think that is very easy to answer. The, the solution smart monitoring collects only the data from the PLC, from the con local control system of the centrifugal and all the measurements which were made and included there. Mm -hmm. There are no laboratory uh, information included. But, and that is one topic of the IIoT and the digital world and the transformation, we can extract from that, uh, from their, the sensors information which uh, are similar to the analysis in the laboratory. So, for example, mesh quality we see at the vibration level. And uh, if the vibration level changes, the mesh quality changes. And with that, you are able to optimize the pro uh, your, your process. And it's this instant, not one hour later after you have got the laboratory analysis back. Thank you. Next one. Can this product be used for remote controlling and setting the DMA devices from your side, or is there another product used? Currently, we disagree with a controlling of the centrifugals from the cloud because this has not been tested, and I guess there are not too much customers who rely on the internet connectivity of such an application. So. In the future view, that is uh, already a an, uh, an thing what someone would like to have. This is wanted, this is a vision, but in the moment we are more restrictive on that question. Okay, so then the next one. Why are there uh, not so many companies in the sugar industry implementing the IIoT? And um, Extended is BMA the first company in sugar industry who implements this? I can only assume something why there's not so much uh, implemented the IIoT in the sugar factories. I guess uh, there is not, they see, do not see the benefit currently. And of course, the sugar factories are working for many decades and they are already optimizing the staff is 
uh, knowing a lot of, uh, they have a lot, lot of knowledge of their equipment. But in the case you do not have this uh, qualified personnel, you shall have a backup and that might be such a cloud technology. Mm -hmm. Okay, so more questions are coming in. So um, what all, what is the hardware and software uh, that is required to use uh, for smart monitoring from customer perspective? From the customer, you need a device which has access to the internet. That is all and has a browser, an updated browser. And uh, yeah, we, test, we tested that with several devices and show you on mobile devices or on fixed installed PCs, this is working and you are, have the possibility to see this on, on screen. That is a pure web application from the view of the customer. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, good morning. Uh, how much uh, save the data in the cloud? The next one. How much? How much? I think uh, he or uh, she wants to know uh, how much data will be saved in the cloud from the uh, machine. Uh, one of the typical thinking in digital transformation is that we cannot get enough data. So for especially for the future analyzing, we are currently uh, saving all data we can collect. So that are data from the centrifugal control, their status information warnings, their measurements on level, on speed, on uh, current and so on. These are all um, saved and currently uh, sometimes not analyzed in the detail. Mm -hmm. The next two questions are about uh, predictive maintenance. So um, the colleagues want to know um, what they can do with smart monitoring about topic predictive maintenance. Smart monitoring gives you an overview uh, to the current level of different signals and predictive maintenance uh, has an precondition that you know at which level of a change of a, of a signal has the impact to a yeah, fault or like that. So usually you, you, you see two weeks or more before the, the equipment fails that there is something to do. And predictive means also you have the possibility to schedule that, that there is enough time to do that and to prepare that. So smart monitoring is a an, uh, an data storage where we can go to the historic data and compare the current situation with the historic data. And by that, the predictive maintenance can start. Mm -hmm. So that is a uh, first attempt to go for that. Mm -hmm. okay. um, then there's a question about um, is there a plan to integrate other sensors, uh, molasses, flow meters and sugar color sensors into the machine learning processes? Yes, of course. We would like to have as much sensors as possible to, uh, to identify our process. Mm -hmm. And it's not only uh, the centrifugal working, we would like to have the information of the process, let's, let's say the mescute quality, the sugar quality at the end, and so on. And this is already prepared to get that information. Uh, have you done this on refinery machines? Yes, this is working for refineries, for cane sugar factories, and also for beet sugar factories. Do you believe that customer could be afraid to share this process data, such sugar, um, such as sugar quality mask? Uh, that is a decision each company has to make by himself, and um, you, uh, the, our clients are not really uh, yeah, urged to use the smart monitoring. That is an offer from BMA for uh, using new uh, technology for the centrifugals. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have one question about the light building, uh, light building charges. Um, I can answer them uh, right now. You can find uh, a part of uh, our licenses on our, our uh, website. There's a part uh, below the services um, on, the, on the website where you can find additional information for Smart for Sugar and Smart Monitoring. And there you can see the prices and get more information if you need them. 
Uh, we have two more questions, I think, and then um, unfortunately our time is over. So the next one, how long do, uh, time does it take for machine process learning? How much data do you need? Uh, currently, we are we have started the project of making machine learning on the machine, and our first uh, attempt was to take a three months run of centrifugals and take some weeks of that to as an input to the machine learning network, and so I guess that's a range from weeks to months we need as an uh, preparing the machine learning and to get a uh, valid output from the neuronal network or the application we need, uh, we, we use for the machine learning. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then uh, last but not least, uh, the last question, um, just to let you know, everyone, uh, every question uh, that you have posted in our chat will be answered uh, by us afterwards. Uh, so we will put it on an external um, um, PowerPoint and uh, let you know the answers. Um, so thank you so much uh, for all the questions um, you uh, posted. Uh, last one is, um, is there any additional application from BMA uh, that is based on an AR basis? Um, currently, we have not this launched, but of course we are thinking about that. And, but it takes some time for develop that and to test that and to officially put this to the market. Okay, so then thank you so much Andreas for asking all and for answering You're all welcome. these questions. And if you want to get more information, um, I told you you can see it on our website and there's a part Smart for Sugar and Smart Monitoring uh, where you can also get uh, the login data um, for our demo dashboard. Just register and you will get uh, the login. So thank you for joining us today. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was very insightful. Stay safe and stay healthy. See you next time. Goodbye.